My name is Cho Hyang Lo. Uh, my friends call me Sean. And I'm working in the lab of Professor Erin O'Shea. What I'm working on is temperature compensation in the tree protein cyanobacterial circadian clock. Circadian clocks are endogenous biological timing mechanisms that are present in many, many organisms. And the best way that most of us can relate to the presence of our biological clock is when we travel from one time zone into another time zone and experience jet lag. Because that's when your biological clock is out of synchrony with the external environment. If a clock ticks faster when it is warm, and slower when it is cold, then it really isn't a clock, right? It's more of a thermometer. So in order for clocks to function as clocks, they all have to be temperature compensated. And this is a this is a this issue of temperature compensation has you know intrigued chronobiologists for the longest time. Well, in a, an in vitro system such as the one that I'm working on, because it's just three proteins and ATP, it is still by, you know, by no means a very a simple system, but it is a, at least a simpler system to look at. And so that's why like, this cyanobacteria in vitro oscillator presents such a good model system to be able to study temperature compensation.